It takes a long time for real-world robots to learn a manipulation skill from scratch. Even worse, the learn skill often fails to generalize to unseen objects. To mitigate this problem, we propose a method to bootstrap our models with visual pre-training and show that it helps model generalize to unseen objects within 10 minutes of training. In our work, we approach the manipulation problems by predicting affordance. Here's how it works. Using a 3D camera, we capture RGBD images to generate a height map view of the scene and then fit it into an affordance model to get a pixel-wise confidence score for the success of a predefined manipulation skill. Then, the manipulation skill is executed at the location with the highest score. Two problems arise when training an affordance model from scratch. First, the robot performs random exploration in the early phase of training, which leads to bad sample efficiency. Second, it has only interacted with a limited set of objects during training, which constrains the model's generalization ability. In computer vision, transfer learning has been adopted to address the above problems and enables impressive applications such as instance segmentation. However, previous works show that such success cannot be reproduced in robotics applications. Our key observation is that affordance model and vision models that predict dense output share the same input-output dimension, which offers a new chance for transfer learning. Note that both the affordance and vision model can be decomposed into two components. The first component is the shared architecture in both models, also called backbone. The second component is the task-specific layers, also called hat. In transfer learning, the common practice is to transfer the parameters of the backbone. Then, the hat is randomly initialized because it is task-specific. However, note that robotics tasks require exploration. By randomly initializing a head, the affordance model still explores randomly at the start of training, which eventually leads to no improvement on performance. We found that by designing the affordance model to share the same head architecture with the vision model, transferring vision head to affordance head can lead to object-centric explorations as vision features can localize objects. Here, we show the affordance maps predicted by different models. It's clear that, without any training on the real robot, affordance predicted by segmentation model trained on the COCO dataset is already very similar to the output predicted by the converged affordance model trained with self-supervised learning for manipulation. Although the output of the vision model can be very close to the affordance model, further self-supervised learning is still vital for learning manipulation. For example, a center detector would perform suction at the center of the LAGO. Nonetheless, it fails because there are gaps between different parts of the LAGO. After fine-tuning, the model learns to steal the right place. On the right-hand side, we show that visual pre-training can fail to determine the correct grasping orientation. After fine-tuning, the affordance model can adjust itself to pick successfully. Visual pre-training can dramatically improve the model's generalization ability. We show that our method can even generalize to transparent objects while the model has never seen transparent objects during training. In contrast, model trained from scratch struggle to pick up any transparent object. In sum, for suction, our method is able to get 91% success rate on unseen objects within 10 minutes of training. For grasping, our model achieves 76% success rate on unseen objects within an hour of training.